changes that you see that we need to make on our projection of taxes from any of the funds that you see listed either taxes or funds from the, in the government I did have a question um, so in regards to I, I know we're waiting on those lost uh, negotiations uh, Having uh, any word on it? Or? Uh, I do not have uh, any additional information on that as far as uh, any changes. Um, I think the judge, we have a new judge that has been appointed, and um, we have not got a particular date for the hearing, as I understand it. That's still in the stages. I thought it was going to take place this week, actually. They had in the paper. There was a, mayor had attended. There was a uh, case before the Supreme Court yesterday that related to Turner County, and uh, there are some similarities in uh, the arguments in Turner County as to Lowndes County, but that could be 30 days prior to a decision by the Court. There was just some interest in that case because it was kind of, as Ms. Pritchard said, it, was, it had some similarities to our situation. Mm -hmm. And then we'd be able to see what it kind of looked like. And so basically, this loss is the same amount as we're kind of projecting we're going to be doing the same amount. Mm -hmm. What time is it? <laughs> the local option sales tax up here is, is indicated. Bill, let's speak in. Line item indicated here. Uh, Stephanie, if you would like to make a point on the law. This expectation, this ex uh, expectation is uh, the fact that we have continued to experience a loss in this uh, revenue, and so we are anticipating that it will go back to similar to 2011 as opposed to a continued increase. You also have to remember that that's affected by the um, vehicle tax reform as well because you're not paying sales tax on vehicles. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we have any type of fluctuation, well, we're hoping uh, the outcome will be minimal in a sense. Yeah, that's another one of those that we're supposed to be holding on. We just don't know yet what the change is going to do on the vehicle at the road. Stephanie, you had, going back to the end of the previous discussion, you had general revenues down almost 12%. That was total revenues. To total revenues down 12%. That was your, mostly your lost, because you only have half of your collection. Okay. All right. Thank you. Any changes to page one? Page two, charges for yep. service. I didn't have any concern about the system that just detailed and so this is all income level to find some revenue to achieve it. I'm going to still have a check that's on its way in from that grant. Any other changes to the charges for service or the fines and forfeiture? investment income projections once, once we get time to catch our breath can can we work through some of these uh, charge for services issues and make sure that uh, 
fees associated with the use of these offices are appropriate for what they need to be. I don't know if they've been looked at in any time period or if it's, you know, we can work with some of the uh, other officers to look at their fees. I do have a proposal from the fire department related to customary charges, customary in the sense that other fire departments assess those charges, uh, but we have not implemented those here. So that will, that's one that will be, we'll look at through the coming year, and I'm not sure at what time we would make a recommendation, probably would be mid-year at best. <coughs> We've also looked at whether or not the fees need to be increased at the animal shelter. Obviously, you're trying to find a balance, as you just indicated, uh, that is reflective of the cost, but also is uh, such a, an amount that it does not uh, discourage right. include individuals from adopting. So those are certainly uh, costs that we will look at, just as in years past we have looked at the COVID charges as well. Can we look at a uh, uh, clerk of court? Of course, we were, we were looking at what we were requesting initially, 700000 Of course, we're working with 600000 um, And we approved seven last year. And, Got about seven hundred thousand, and we only collected four thirty-eight five ninety-four so far. So far, so far. But you, you have that's only about eight months worth. This is reflective of about eight months worth. She okay, runs okay. So then that number will be based on that. Okay. And Stephanie, that would be helpful if you make a notation when you do year to date on current year, if you let us know what month you captured that information in. Well, the, the information is all captured as of the same date, but those constitutional officers and elected officials that turn money over to you, some of them lag behind more than others. So when you see the tax commissioner's numbers, it's for nine months. When you see the clerk of court's numbers, it's for eight months, but that's all they've turned into us. Okay. Because I was trying to come up with an average on a 12-month period last last night when I was going through this, and I got to thinking. I said, I, I don't know what date this information was captured. This all is as of this week. Well, this is, but the one I was working with, I wasn't sure when it was captured, right. so I, I couldn't I couldn't guesstimate mm -hmm. you know monthly averages. Right, and and because there's such a variance in there with who's turned in money and who hasn't. So. Okay. Okay. <clears throat>